Hi, good afternoon everybody. I got to scoot down because I didn't get my tripod legs up. I wanted to show you my little portable greenhouse. It's, um, I don't have the dimensions because Ray got rid of the box, but it can hold two trays like this. I actually have six trays over there. I also bought some of these window greenhouse seed starters and they have 36 cells. Now, these ones here, they only come one, but you can put them on your windowsill if you want. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or if I'm gonna put these, use these. These here is like a greenhouse, keeps it nice and warm. I have a tray that, that I call 512s that I'll be planting. In here, I gotta go out to the other greenhouse. Hopefully I have some, but Ray bought me some new ones of these. So, this here is portable. You can move it outside if you want. You can take this and like this and it unrolls. Unrolls all the way down. How nice is that? So, I think that's pretty nice if you have a doorway or a step or something you could put this out on. Sorry, I got my treadmill right here. But this makes a nice little greenhouse. Rolls up easy, just like that. I'll show you the potting soil I'm gonna use. It's right here. Oh, get off balance here. It's um, Sprout Island Blend Organic Seed Starter, and it's the Coast of Maine. And I know this works really, really well. It has, uh, see what it's going to say. For organic production, the Coast of Maine guarantees um, mulch fertilizer designed to meet the most demand needs of an amateur gardener. I've been using this for many years. It says follow the simple steps, moisten the soil, plant, fill the planter and the container, plant your seed, water the seeds lightly without saturating it, place in the lighting temperature control and germinate provides within 12 to 14 hours. After three weeks, top dress with this organic blend. So, I'll bring you back and show you how I do my planting because I've got a few things that have to get started. So don't go too far and you can see Maniac Grammy what she's doing. I'll put that right there. Oh, I can see I'm making a mess on the floor already. That's okay. I'll just clean it up. Okay, that. here I am. Phew. I'm a rock. I've been out in the wind trying to get my trays. I got my trays and I filled it with soil. Ray surprised me and came home with all these different seeds. Wow, I couldn't believe it. Usually he does, but this really surprised me. We got the bush beans, the different colored. We got the beets. Look at the colors of the beets. They're called um, a gourmet blend. They're heirlooms. They're very different. And we got more basil, lots of basil, nasturtions. We got it all. We got hot peppers. I'm really looking for ghost pepper seeds and for shipping, and I only want about six seeds. It's very expensive. So if anybody would like to donate some ghost pepper seeds, I'd love to have them. Maybe I could swap for another packet of seeds, but I'm gonna start with these hot peppers. Gotta get the peppers going now. And uh, all sorts of seeds here. I'm just looking for lettuce. I know he brought me home some, some more basil, different colored basil. And let me see. Oh, we have some jalapenos here that will have to get going, and of course the squash. We got some poblanos. I really like poblanos. Those are going to get started. 
and geez, I really wanted lettuce, but I don't see any. I've got to have lettuce in here. I've got dill. I've got most. I've got a lot of flowers. We're gonna put a lot of uh, flowers in the garden to attract the bees this year. So, anyways, let me get started on this. Hmm. I thought for sure I had lettuce, but I don't see it. But that's okay. I might have gave it to my grandson. Um, at the end of this, I'm going to pop some pictures in because I think I found the box that my little greenhouse went in and um, kind of scrunched up here. So I'm going to put these down on the floor and get my situated in the chair off. My shoulder's still bothering. I'm sorry. I don't mean to boohoo about it. I got a wet cloth here in case I need it. This here, when we had our greenhouse business, we called these trays of 512. That's what we called them. It's one, two, three, four, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 30, 30 by 20. I'll have to do the math. I'm sorry, I can't do the math in my head. I have to put it on the screen when I get done. Oh, better look out my blouse. I'll be popping out everywhere. Now that would be a sight to see now, wouldn't it? I'd scare you all off. Okay, got scissors to open the package. I got a pencil because I like to use wooden markers and I have tweezers and I have this to plant. My soil is already wet. And I will, I will um, also put water there in the tray and let it come up into the plants. Um, I'm not going to mist it right now because Ray's bringing me home a new mister. I went to use mine and it's got a crack in it. So we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to do the hot peppers. And I'm looking here. What did I do with it? Am I, oh, I'm sitting on it. Got beans. I want to show you the markers I use. These are the markers I use. They're wooden markers. So we are going to plant hot peppers. So I'm going to put it right here. Hot pepper. And today's the 23rd. This is a hot salsa blend. Hot salsa blend. And today's 323, I think. Okay, we're going to do it just like that. And I'm going to put it here when I get ready. And I'm just going to show you a few how I plant. Have you started your garden yet? I usually have a little bowl out here, but I don't. The seeds are in there. And also I have a seed spreader. But it's the wind's picking up. We're supposed to get 6 to 10 inches of snow tonight. It's not a very nice day out there. So what I do, I'm just going to drop it in. A cell just like that. Or... Take this little skew stick and go like this, but I don't want it to be too deep. Could do it like that all the way. I'll just do this first row here so you guys get the idea on how I do it. Just like this. And sometimes I'll drop two seeds in one hole case one doesn't germinate. I'm going to put these back in. Oops, I think I might drop the seed. Every seed counts. Yes, I did. There. I also want to show you, just take one. But actually, yeah, I'll take one. You know me and Aunt Grammy, she's always changing her mind. And if I'm having a difficult time, I just pick the seed up, 
put it in, cover the soil. Just like this, let me show you. So you pick the seed up, put it in, cover the soil. Pick the seed up, cover the soil. I don't just do that with that one. And right here, we'll stick it in. That's the hot pepper blend. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on and I'll be filling my rack and I'll be giving well, maybe a week or every two week update to let you know what's going on. And I've got a lot to do, so I'm gonna finish this up. Thanks for coming along. Hope you have a great day. God bless, and I'm gonna put some pictures on the end and show you we bought my grandson one of these little greenhouses. They cost $21 at Ocean Lots. So if you want something and you have an Ocean Lot, check it out, $21 is a good price. And the window cell little starters were 350. So have a great day. God bless. Be kind. Be loving. We're in a real tough time here. Pray and things will get better, I hope. So that's all I got to say for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. God bless. This is just a little of what I planted. I just got done planting. So let's go over and see what I've planted and how it's done. There you go, it's all planted right there. It's got the names on them, and on the back of the stick, it's got the germination date. There you have it right there. Then I'm gonna put a dome over the top and make it into a little hothouse, and I'll show you a picture.